Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Sony, and today we're going to start a brand new project with some new art materials that um, you guys have used in my class. And parents, you guys are going to love these. These are like one of my favorite things ever. Um, so we're going to use watercolor crayons today. So if you don't have them, you want to order them, thank your delivery driver because these things are amazing. So um, I've had some drawing requests, so we're first going to draw this doggy together today. Um, so easy peasy. Um, now because we're using watercolor crayons today, if you're using watercolor crayons too, then I would do it on construction paper or even better watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is just, um, a little more expensive and harder to come by. So, uh, when I do this in class with the kids, I just use construction paper. Um, so that's what I'm going to draw on today and I'm going to draw this cute little puppy dog. All right, so we're going to start right here in the middle with his nose, actually, and then pull the mouth around. So right here in the middle, go ahead and draw your doggie's nose. And it looks like a triangle, just pointing down. If you do it the wrong way, magic, just turn your paper around. <laughs> so we want to make sure that it is pointing down today. And then we're going to make the doggy's um, mouth with a J shape and a backwards J. So coming down from the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to make a J and a backwards J. And then this is kind of fun because all we're going to do is starting at the top of the nose, we're going to connect this oval all the way around his mouth. make the rest of your doggy's face. Now we're going to come up a little bit smaller than the snout here to make the top line, which is more like a rainbow line for the top of the doggy's face. Oh, my doggy's going to be so cute. And then let's Give your doggy some eyes. Maybe your doggy's a little girl. You want to put some eyelashes. I know, I know boys have eyelashes too. But usually when you're doing like cartoon drawing, the girls have the eyelashes. So I'm going to make the little highlight for the eyes too. Um, which I think looks funny until I color it in with Sharpie around it. And then it starts to look a little bit cuter. I have some students at school that draw animals and people and they make the cutest little eyes. So if you have any other eyes you want to make, go for it. Now my dog is going to have long ears and I made a zigzag kind of furry line for him. So when I draw my line, I'm going to start here at the top and you can make your doggy's ears as long as you want. I'm going down all the way to the bottom of the snout. Same thing on this side. Luckily you guys can't hear my tummy girl and I have to, I'm hungry. I have to eat breakfast still. All right, so we're gonna draw the doggies um, legs here in front. So if you didn't leave yourself enough room, that's okay. You can draw some little short little legs because doggies, um, well, I mean, some doggies have short little legs, but it's a cartoon dog. So we're going to draw two lines here and then bring his little paws off the page. And then the same thing here. And <laughs> I got skinny little legs on this one. That's okay. That'll still be cute. Little paws here. And then put little lines in there for where their little claws are when they sit. Ooh, just realized I need to redo my nail polish today. Huh? All right, so I'm going to bring the doggy's body down, which is just a curved line from the neck all the way down to the feet. So we're going to start here. And you have to go over your ears, do that. And it's just a curved line. And then when they sit down, their back feet come out. So we're going to make its back feet 
if you want, you can make a couple lines there too. And then I love drawing doggy tails. We're going to draw a little tail out here. A little triangle point. And then to make it look like it's wagging, if you add little motion lines, which are like two little lines on each side, works perfect. Now I'm going to add a collar because doggies have collars so they don't get lost, right? And draw that line there for his collar. And then I'm going to add a little tag. Now my dog's name is Cooper. Do you guys have a dog at home? You can either write their name or put their initial, which is the first letter of their name. Let's see if I can write Cooper. She's been so happy that we are all home with her during this break because she is a puppy. We just got her for Christmas. We got her on Christmas Eve and she's usually home alone. So yeah, super happy that we're here. Now parents, these are watercolor crayons. They usually come in a pack that slides out like this, which is awesome. Um, this is the Sargent brand. Um, it's a really good brand for these. Um, I usually buy all of my art supplies from uh, Blick Online, um, so it's B-L-I-C-K, and yeah, I love their ordering process. I love how quickly we get the supplies, and their supplies are great. So I love the Sargent brand here on these, I know. Um, Crayola also makes a really good one, um, and you can get watercolor colored pencils. Um, However, I feel like with the younger kids, the crayons work better. They color just like crayons and you don't have the tips breaking off like you do with um, the watercolor pencils. So anyway, um, I'm just going to show you with the brown here how you color. It's seriously the exact same way that you color with regular crayons. Um, when you go to paint them, um, it will turn out darker if you color darker. So you can see on my example, I've kind of colored the edges just a little bit darker of my doggy. So after I color the first round here, I can go back, kind of like my perspective drawing the other day, I can go back and color these just a little bit darker. And when I add my water, I will blend. Okay, so you can see when I colored my doggy here. I even colored like a rainbow background. I got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, lightly. Um, the ears I colored with a black crayon and then they'll actually wash out to be a little bit gray because I didn't color super dark. Now the nose I colored really dark and that will look black. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to paint this. I actually did this on computer paper, so I'm hoping it turns out for you guys. But when you paint, um, if you guys ever had those books where it was just paint with water, this is the same type deal. So all you need is water. So I've got two little paint brushes in here one regular and then I have some itty bitty ones because you know those little tiny details you can get in those little crevices so um, <clears throat> I always suggest to the kids to paint the lightest colors first so I'm gonna paint this over my yellow and it's like magic the kids are gonna love it it turns right to paint and then I'm gonna find my yellow in the background here and I'm gonna paint that first and I'm gonna try not to get in my dog easier here this is the only problem with this paper is that it's going to start to curl up a little because it's so thin. So I tell the kids like to work in different spots um, so that they're not painted on the same spot and put a hole in their paper. So I want this to kind of blend with my rainbow so I'm going to go right into my orange. If you want colors to blend, paint them next to each other right away. If you don't want them to blend, paint the spot and then we'll move to another spot kind of like I did with the little uh, dog tag here. Move this up here a little bit. It's amazing. It just turns right to paint, which is so cool. You can see it's starting to blend a little. 
go right into my red for the rainbow because obviously colors next to each other blend really well on the rainbow. So you can see these black spots, that's just where the water has settled and it's drying. Once the paper dries completely, um, those black spots will go away. I don't even know if you can see the black spots on there, they just look a little gray right now. So I'm going to go down here to my green. You can see my uh, brush was a little tiny bit of red. Um, you can either use a paper towel to wipe that off or I don't mind it, I just kind of let it fade out a little bit. Not a huge deal. So I'm going to down here to my green and then to my blue. Oh, I just love this stuff. Ah! Touch my doggy's tail one next time. Down into my purple. Okay. And then um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the doggy's body right now. So you can see his face. That's turning out so cute. Now I don't want my brown to blend with my black, so I'm not going to paint his snout right now. Or his ears. So you can see right there, it gets a little bit darker on the edges when you put that extra color there. Now I'm going to take my little tiny brush right here. Just get right against my eyes. If you don't have a tiny brush, no worries. It's a little shiny on your end, sorry. Sometimes these document cameras are amazing, which is cool because it's the only way I can video and you know get to you guys, but sometimes the light shines on it super bright and it doesn't always give you guys the best version. So I'm going to come in here from a doggy. Being a little feet. You can see the edges are still getting a little darker, which is kind of cool. But I don't mind if they blend with the body because, you know, fur can be a little bit different colors, which is nice. And my background is probably dry enough right now that my doggy is not going to blend in with it. Um, the nice thing about these is that they dry really fast because it's just water. So again, these are just like those paint with number books. Once you put the color down, it's just adding water over top, which I absolutely love. Use these with the little kids especially. They're so easy and it's super easy cleanup. And as you guys know, like I don't have sinks in my classroom. So these are amazing because I don't have to go and wash a ton of brushes because they stay pretty clean um, with just the watercolor. All right, so I'm going to paint snout right now. Try not to get the brown in. I'm doing this kind of fast so you can see my little puppet dog here. Um, I always tell the kids because they want to just keep going, going, going without using all the water. And like they'll go and their brush is dry and it's not working. So I'll make sure you got water on your brush because these do not work without water. You gotta have the water. I hope if you guys don't have watercolor cans today, I hope you guys order some. They are so awesome at some point. And they're not that expensive. I want to say like, gosh, two or three dollars for the box. And I use them forever. I've been at Bloom Carol for four years now. And I think all of my watercolor cans are left over. From the previous art teacher. So, if that tells you anything, and I have, oh gosh, seven, over 700, eight, almost 800 kid, kiddos at school. So, all right, so my last part, I'm just going to take my little tiny brush and I'm going to color the collar here because I'm trying not to let this blend in here to the rest. Oh man, he's so cute. All right, and just like that, we finished our doggy today. I don't know if it looks better if I turn the light off. Oh, not too bad. 
So I'll just show you on construction paper really quickly. Um, it just is a little bit thicker, so it's easier with the colors not like matting down almost to the table. Um, I will put something underneath this. It won't stain, um, but it will put your colors on your table. So yeah, maybe just a thicker piece of paper. I'd say newspaper, but I don't think anybody even has newspaper anymore, except for my dad. <laughs> Love it. I love that my dad still has newspaper because every time I need a project done with newspaper, I call my dad. Last time he gave me papers all the way from 2010, which the kids thought was pretty cool because it was like the year they were born. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our doggy done today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, painting with me and drawing with me. And again, if you guys want to order some watercolor crayons, these are amazing, super awesome. Uh, you probably get them from Amazon. Um, I know the art supply stores uh, sell them, but um, since they're closed right now, um, I love to order from Blick online. They usually take about two to three days for shipping. Um, but yeah, I think you guys will be, like them and you'll be super happy with your projects. If you don't have them today, color with crayons. Show me your doggies. I want to see how you work. Hope everybody has a great day today. It's going to be gorgeous. So get outside and play.